now. It's time for the Mike Norvell Show, presented by AutoZone. Get in the zone. AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Jack Pirtle's Chicken, and by the Mid-South Chevy Dealers. Welcome in, everybody, to the very first Mike Norvell Show. The Tiger football program moves on to its next chapter. And, Coach, you come in in the midst of really a spectacular time, great back-to-back -back seasons. Well, it's, it's an exciting time. And uh, since the first day that I've been hired, uh, that I was hired here at Memphis, uh, you know, just the, the overall feel, excitement within the community, uh, the transition of, of our new coaches coming in and, and getting to really uh, develop this 26-16 this uh, football team, it's just been a, a wonderful ride. And we're definitely excited to get to start playing some games. Now, I think we're all ready for that. A lot of talking going on. And you're going to meet all the uh, uh, coordinators in this particular show. You're going to get to know the Mike Norvell brand of football. Now, I've watched practices a few times. I didn't think it was possible to have a faster pace than the way the Tigers used to practice. You do that. So I think we'll see a lot of similarities. What will we see differently from this group? Well, I mean, first off, you're going to see some new faces. And, uh, you, know, you know, moving forward, this has been a, uh, it's been a great, a great transition. Uh, you know, uh, our guys, you know, we were really trying to f take a focus of, of winning each day and trying to maximize, you know, every opportunity that we have. Uh, we, knew, we know moving forward uh, that we're not, we're not a surprise to anybody. Uh, there, there's been a great expectation, a, 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 a tremendous amount of, uh, of success these last few years. And so, uh, you know, we're looking to continue to build off that. And, you know, we're, we're not trying, you know, we know that there's going to, it's going to be a different look. I mean, you know, we're going to continue to, to play fast. You know, we're going to be explosive on, we're trying to be explosive in every, in every area of the ball, offensively, defensively, and, and with our special teams units. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing the, the, this team, you know, go out and uh, try to leave their mark for what, uh, for what we stand for and for this uh, Tiger football program. You're obviously no rookie at all. You've been around a lot of spring camps, a lot of fall camps, but never as the guy. So what did you learn about yourself? What did you find that you thought you might do something, but you did it a little differently? Well, you know, I, was, I was fortunate. You know, I was able, able to bring in a tremendous uh, group of assistant coaches. And uh, you know, for us to come together as, as, a, as one unit and uh, you know, be able to implement uh, you know, the, kind of some of the, the values and the structure of what, of what we're going to do, it's, it's really been a, a very smooth transition. Uh, you know, I, I came in and, and talked to the team the very first day, and uh, you know, I laid out a plan of, of where I wanted us to go and the things that I wanted us to to, to appear like to, from everybody on the outside. And uh, you know, there there were some changes, um, but I, I told the guys that uh, you know, my job is to is to serve them and to try to be the example for, for what we need to do each and every day. And uh, if if I can go out there and, and be the be the the guy that's leading the group and uh, can set a high standard and and, uh, and a great example for them, then uh, I believe. That, uh, that the team will follow and so our coaching staff has done a tremendous job our players have done a great uh, a great job of buying into what to what we're looking to do and you know we're excited to see uh, what it's going to look like on September 3rd in Liberty Bowl not not maybe as excited as all of us are here's what's coming up on the show today you're going to love the Mid-South Chevy Dealers inside access you're going to meet all of the coordinators Chip Long, Chris Ball, Joe Lorry. after that we will uh, have an interview with both Mark Olnut and Tom Bowen. We'll find out about those Liberty Bowl upgrades. And then at the end of the show, yeah, it's finally here. SEMO will be in town next Saturday. We'll talk about the Tigers and the Red Hawks. Up next, a little bit of inside access. You're watching The Mike Norvell Show. Welcome back in, and we got a full house here for you. Between Coach Norvell and myself, we have Chip Long, offensive coordinator, Chris Ball, defensive coordinator, Joe Lorig, who is the man who will man the special teams. I'm going to start with you, Chip. In order to have the kind of offense that I know Coach Norvell likes to run, you got to have weapons, and you seem to have a full house of that as well. Let's start with the quarterback. Tell me about Riley Ferguson. Well, you know, the biggest thing about Riley that I really excite me, excites me is he's only lost really three games in his career playing. Wow. So, you know, jumping off the bat, that. I I really like that. He's a winner. Um, he has a good, good following amongst the group. He can make every throw in the book. Um, he has a really good grasp of our offense, and uh, that's why we made him the starter last week. Plenty of returning uh, guys to throw, too. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, a kid, uh, Anthony Miller's had an unbelievable year. The moment we got here, from spring ball to summer, he's been electrifying. And uh, our defense had a hard time tackling him, which excites <laughs> us. We've got to give him the ball as much as we can. Um, our running backs, 
Uh, Sam Kraft, a guy y'all know really well, we're really excited about. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Daryl Henderson, another young man that, you know, the sky's the limit with him. So we're really excited about all those guys. And uh, I got to mention Dorland Dorseyus too. Cause yeah, absolutely. That guy was so good before the injury a year ago. But you got to have an old line to give protection, to open up holes. How's yep. that offensive line? It's, it's uh, you know, it's coming to form. Coach Silverfield's doing an amazing job with those guys. So, you know, we're really excited. We got some good veteran guys coming back with Gabe Kuhn, um, Chris Roberson, um, Kaiser at center. So, you know, we have a good group right there. And we're really excited about being able to operate behind those guys. Now, now, Chris, obviously, uh, you know, defensively, that's, a, that's something that you know, people ask a lot about is, you know, what, what's going to be what's going to be different about this group? What are things that we can we can look forward to? And, you know, kind of what, you know, since you've been here, we've had, you know, 10 months, nine, 10 months to, to work with this unit. What has really kind of stood out to you about uh, the guys you get to work with each day? Well, when you when you take a job, you know, a lot of times you're taking a job, it's a it's a rebuilding and, and you're getting into something that, you know, there's going to be some character issues or some work ethic issues. and. You know, when we got here, we, we, we jumped, as soon as we got off the road recruiting, we jumped into winter conditioning. And uh, one thing that stood out more than anything was our work ethic. You know, and any time you got a group of kids that can work, are willing to work, and uh, we worked them hard, as you know, and, um, you know, that, that lead, if you've got a core group of guys that, that knows how to work, then you've got a chance. Um, you know, I, I think character-wise, I think we're smart, you know, um, we're tough. You know, those things that you really look for in, in, in a team, we've got those characteristics. And uh, uh, really, really, really excited about this group. I love this team. I love this group of kids on defense. And, uh, you know, we're going to attack just like you want it. And we're going to attack and get after some people. It's going to be fun to watch. You also run a little different two hybrid spots on the defensive line and, uh, and the linebacker and, and secondary. Talk a little bit about that philosophy. Well, you know, when, when, you, when we're going to be going in and out of some, uh, we're multiple very multiple. In order to be multiple, you got to have players that can play, do some different things. And uh, we've, we've got that in our cat position. We've got that in our wheel position. So, um, you know, Jannard Avery's had a great camp. Um, uh, DeMarco Montgomery's had a great camp at, at cat. And then we've got some guys that be behind them that have also done very, very well. So we, we can do a lot of things without substituting. Which, which, which makes us very, very multiple. And that was a unit that got better and better, folks, as the year went on last year. Now, Joe, you may be the luckiest guy. I mean, you got Jake Elliott, number one in the conference. You got Spencer Smith. Oh, he could be number one punter in the conference. Have you ever had, wherever you've been, a better tandem than that? I have not. I have not. They're, they're pretty special. They, and you can rely on them in, in a lot of different circumstances, that, that's for certain. Will you use like the rugby punt the way we, we've seen a lot of schools do and, and the way it was uh, uh, instituted a little bit last year too? You have to come to the game to see that, man. I can't, I can't give You're that not away. <laughs> I can't give that away on TV. This is but. coaching, guys. It's the way it works. How about containment? Any, any differences than we, what we saw a year ago? Uh, you know, there'll be there'll be some similar, similarities, excuse me, and some differences. Um, you know, we're we're going to attack people all the time. That's what Coach Norvell wants. So we're going to be attacking, be really aggressive with our schemes, and and uh, really try to change the game and control field position. How about returners? Have we got guys with? with yeah, we've speed? got we've got some guys that are pretty special. You know, I want to break. We want to break that uh, that twenty year curse that we've had on, on yeah, kickoff return. That's and true. So Tony Pollard is, has done a great job in camp, and and. Uh, he and I talk all the time about that, and, and uh, Anthony Miller in the punt return game as well. So we've got some weapons back there. Ooh. Uh, would you ever use Henderson on, on any returns? Because you got to come to the games to see that. You just never know. Just I'm never coming. Know. All, right, all, right, all right. I promise you I'm going to be at every game. These guys are going to get to know a lot about them. We thank you. Chip Long, Chris Paul, Joe Lord. Can't wait to see all of your work. Coming up in just a minute, there was a unique thing that Coach did. This, uh, this past fall camp, and that was, uh, oh, we're going to get a facilities update. A little bit later, you'll see what they did in Jackson, Tennessee as well. But Mark Olnut joins us in just one minute. You're watching The Mike Norvell Show. Deputy Athletic Director Mark Olna joins us. Now, you had that daunting task of, one, facilities upgrade at the Liberty Bowl, which, by the way, great sight lines, but it needed a little love and affection, and then having to reseat. And by all accounts from everybody, you have done a marvelous job. I know it wasn't easy. Well, thank you, Dave. You know, first of all, we have to 
and comment on the great partnership we have with the city and the Liberty Bowl that we're able for us to put this together in terms of our new chair backs, which are going to be about three inches wider, about three inches uh, more leg space, a nice cup holder, and just a great premium seating opportunity for our fans. So what we did is we increased from about 800 chair backs to a little bit over 5,000. And we still have some left. You know, some, some of them are available at a season ticket price of $250 and a corresponding TSF donation. So we're excited. And doing that reseating, it was a fair, uh, very quick process, which uh, allowed our people to get good seats for this upcoming season. Oh, I, I love the way they look there. I like the fact that the tushy space is <laughs> a little bit bigger as well. Folks may not realize, but you were the uh, athletic director at Southeast Missouri when this deal with the Tigers for this game coming up next Saturday was, was struck. And is, was this how you got to know all these guys? Well, a combination of a couple of things. Uh, right, I worked with uh, Ren Baker, uh, former deputy athletic director here, and now at uh, athletic director of North Texas, and also Tom Bowen, and putting together a series, actually, a basketball football series with Southeast Missouri State in and, and Memphis. And that was back in 2013 when we finalized that deal, and also had a relationship with uh, Barry Odom who's now the head coach mm -hmm. at uh, University of Missouri. So, again, just through relationships and being able to put something together to allow SEMO uh, to come down here to uh, the Liberty Bowl. And, folks, he was a very, very tough negotiator on the deal to bring SEMO. Now it's coming out of your pocket that you were so so good at negotiations. Well, I'm glad I wasn't so tough. I'm not as tough as Tom Bowen, so it, it, it bounces out. If folks do want to get those chairbacks, and they are really worth a little bit of extra money. How do they do this again? Well, just contact our ticket office, you know, via, via you actually get online, uh, gotigersgo.com is one option, or uh, come by our ticket office uh, right there on campus. So those type of opportunities, they're available. And again, as I mentioned, for $250 for a season ticket, and then also a corresponding TSF donation. And we also have uh, limited quantities available for a uh, per game price of $60 each as well. I've seen them. They're beautiful. More space. You can't help but like it. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Speaking of Tom Bowen, the Big Chief is here. He's next on all these wonderful promotions that we will have this year. You've got to see what we've got coming. You're watching The Mike Norvell Show. It is hard to believe. Year number five for this man, Tom Bowen. I've, en yeah. I've enjoyed every yeah. one of these years. You came yeah. in, you said you could fix football. You certainly did that. You made this wonderful hire in Mike Norvell. And now it's all about tickets and promotions and Tiger Lane and job well done. Thank you. Uh, I, first of all, I've got a great team. As you, you got a chance to hear from Mark Allnut, my deputy athletic director, and I have a great senior team and a great staff. And I truly am the most unimportant person by myself. I have a tremendous effort by everybody in our building, by my coaches and our student athletes and everyone. So uh, I appreciate the compliments, but it's really a compliment to them and to all of our fans and all the support we've received and in our administration and President Rubs. So it's a great team effort right now. It's a great day to be a Tiger. Some things are extraordinary in what's going to happen forward. In fact, the women's soccer program has already set the bar very high. They beat Ole Miss Friday night. 19th ranked team in the country. 3 yeah. And now we get ready for our big game and our big, our big home stand, the seven home games for this 2016 season. Couple of themes. The first one I want to talk about is get there early, yes. right? Yes. If, if any message you hear today from me, please hear this. You need to come to the stadium early on September 3rd. We're expecting a great crowd. And be there early. We've worked out with the city, with the uh, police department, and, and with our first responder people there to help make sure everybody can get in and out quickly and easily, parking both ingress and egress. So come early. And you can get those tickets for that game. Five bucks at any area Kroger store or a guest services. Dollar of each ticket will go to support the Mid South Food Bank and the Million Meals Challenge. So that's game one. Then game two. I love this Memphis State Day. This was a great idea that my marketing team came together and working with the university's uh, marketing promotions and external relations people. This is Memphis State Day, one day to dedicate to the, the great legacy of Memphis State. And uh, our sponsor, First Tennessee, is giving away a commemorative ball cap with uh, the Memphis State uh, previous logo on it. And it's the first five, six, 10,000. It's actually 10,000. We have wow. actually 10,000 ball caps to give out that day. So come to the stadium and Get a Memphis State throwback hat. I know I want to get one of those. Then on the 24th, the Bowling Green come into town, and uh, you've got the Salute to 901. Salute to 901. It's our, it's our area code. It's us. It's us Memphis. It's a salute to all the people who have supported our program and what they're doing. 
and it's great. And also, we have a special that they be two dollar hot dogs. So, oh, uh, working with our. Uh oh, you could guys. be in trouble. Yep. Yeah, October fun. the sixth, it'll be Temple Whiteout. Yes, this is a very important game. This is a national broadcast on ESPN Thursday night. The only game on TV that night. Two hundred twenty million homes will see Temple at uh, at our stadium against Memphis us, and we're going to do a whiteout. So we've asked. Uh, everyone to wear white, and the first 10,000 fans will receive a mini helmet sponsored by Ashley Furniture, one of our other partners. October the 29th, it's the pink game against Tulsa. This is Cancer Awareness Month. This is Cancer Awareness Month, and this is homecoming for us. We'll have some very special guests come back for this game, and we'll tell you more about that later. But this is where pink, pink tigers to support breast cancer awareness and in, in, in our team and, and our fans. On November the 12th, a very good team. South Florida will be in town. It's Military First Responders Night and also Band Day. Yes, we're going to honor all the military, all of, our, all of our men and women that serve our country and our first responders, and it's also Band Day. We're very excited to have the local high school bands come to be part of this. And then in a game that could determine the Western Conference, the Houston Cougars are in town. That's senior day, and you're doing a blackout? We are doing. We're doing a blackout, Black Friday. Uh, it'll be a great day. FedEx is our sponsor of that game and truly have been one of our best sponsors in what we've done all year. So things are great. We're excited. It's going to be a great day to be a Tiger. Come early and get your tickets. There's a lot of tickets left. Come get your tickets. Five bucks at Kroger. We're back in a minute. We'll take a look at the AutoZone road ahead. Oh, and look, the camp. You're watching The Mike Norvell Show. In watching coaches' practices, I love all the innovation. And you did something a little different that I haven't seen any Memphis coach do in all these years. And that was you took your team to Jackson, Tennessee for a little team building. And, and, and how did it work out? It was incredible. I think that was one of the highlights of our camp. Uh, you know, you know, we talk a lot about family. We talk a lot about uh, the relationships that we have within our, within our team. And uh, for us to be able to go away for you know, three, four days and just uh, you know, kind of get away from any distractions of, of being here at home, uh, it, was, it was an opportunity for our guys to really get to know and hear the stories of how each player got here and uh, what their journey has been, some of, the, some of the struggles, some of the highlights, and just have a better understanding of, of who we are here together. And I, I thought our, our guys did a tremendous job, and uh, it was a wonderful experience. I love the way the guy is going to flip over <laughs> the opposition, that is for sure. Time for the AutoZone Road Ahead. Yes, indeed, it's finally here. SEMO, next Saturday, 6 o'clock. This is a team that's got a lot of returning starters, 8 on offense, 7 on defense, 4 and 7 last year. What do you know about them? Uh, you know, you look you, when you watch film, you see an experienced group. You see a team that uh, you know they played they played a lot together. Uh, you know, defensively, uh, you know it's a it's a very veteran group up front. They're actually returning some players that have been out uh, the last season due to injury, and so uh, we're expecting a team that's going to come in and uh, and play at a high level. They're going to uh, you know this is a game that I know that they're up for offensively. They are returning eight starters, but they're they're they actually have a new quarterback, and so um, it's going to be a little bit different. They had a freshman player of the year in the conference uh, that was their quarterback last. Year. And now he's moving out. Uh, uh, you know, he's he's not gonna he's not gonna be the starter, and they're gonna use, utilize him in a couple a couple different ways. So, uh, uh, you know, we we've got to we we don't know exactly what they're gonna do because every year is gonna be a little bit of change. But uh, you know, we're preparing for a for a great contest. Well, I know this against the uh, FCS. Memphis is three and zero the last three years, one forty seven to thirteen. Hope it's the same way. Uh, Good luck in your debut. Well, look forward. Have to a it. great week, everybody. We'll see you next Sunday night. Thank you for watching The Mike Novell Show, presented by AutoZone. Get in the zone. AutoZone, the show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Jack Bertle's Chicken, and by the Mid-South Chevy Dealers.